Zenith Transoceanic D7000Y, 1975 model. They were getting towards the end of the run here. Um, they were going to discontinue this around 1980-82, I believe. Anyway, this one was presented to me. At first, it had very intermittent power. And that problem ended up being the interlock switch just needed to be cleaned really good. And I was able to get 12 volts here and get going on this thing. Once we got it going, I then discovered that the only band it had was FM and VHF. FM and VHF both derive from the FM tuner section here. So knowing that, the FM tuner section was good. The IF section is good because the AM and the FM both share the IF section. Obviously, the output section was good. Next thing we had to do is differentiate what bands run on which frequencies. And doing a little reading, I found out that all the shortwave bands and AM are together. And FM and VHF, like I said before, are together. So this radio had no AM and no shortwave. So we proceeded from there. The first thing we did was make some voltage checks. Um, the way this works is it takes 12 volts and it's switched to either the FM VHF tuner section, which takes raw 12 volts and must regulate it in there somewhere. Okay. For all the other bands, what happens is we take that 12 volts and step it down to 5.7 and a 5.7 volt regulator. And that regulator is switched on only in AM and shortwave. Put the meter there. Voltage there was good. So this um, voltage regulator is working. Next thing we did was start taking some voltages on the transistors. When it was, I, I just chose AM. I put it in AM. Okay. Normal, 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 not normal. I had 1.9 volts on the base, 5.2 volts on the collector, and zero on the emitter. This is an NPN. That means if I put a positive on the base, I should have a voltage drop of about 0.6 here. And what this does, it very much coincided with the problem. It's at zero volts here. You follow this down. It goes through a gang switch, and it goes through this coil array here to ground. And there's a 1500 ohm resistor. And when I put my ohm meter on the emitter here, I read about 1600 ohms. So I know that the um, circuit was good. Took this transistor out, tested it. It, in fact, was open base emitter. I, it calls for a 109. Um, I didn't have one. So I just put a, um, an old ECG 123, the old NPN workhorse in there for now. Um, turn the radio on, and I can hear it heterodyning. I can select through the frequency, uh, through, through the bands. I can hear noise, but it still would not select the station. Hmm. So the next thing I did was go down to the three gangs of the tuner. And do the old screwdriver test. And that's right down here. And I should be able to tune this with a screwdriver by going across it. Because from our old radio theory, one of these tunes the oscillator. The other one tunes the mixer. And the other one tunes the RF. So I should be able to get some action off of that. I could get action off of two of the gangs, but not the third one. I disconnected them, and I had infinite resistance between the plates on the, the two inside gangs. I had a short to ground here from this black wire. Unsoldered the wire, still had a short to ground. Shouldn't have that. These, none of these plates are bent or anything. Usually if they were bent, you, you would have a situation like that. I turned it upside down, and what did I find in there? I found this little baby screw right here. It was wedged in there. It was wedged in between the where the plates are and the body. Took that out. And here you go. Time to enjoy fun on the water, whether it's at the beach, lake, or campground. That's go FM, which worked before. Let's go to AM. I learned about medication that could support them. This thing hates the, the fluorescent lights in here, but it works. Let's go to the 31 meter band. 
Get some shortwave. She's good. She gets something on a 25 meter band at night as well. Oh, yeah. So that was it. Bottom line interlock switch. Open transistor, probably caused by the uh, screw that was lodged into one gang of the um, tuner. So there you have it. We'll run this for a few days and make sure she's okay. And give her back to her anxiously waiting owner. Ta-ta.